Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so, why didn't I get back on this 40, 35, 40 commercial lower unit issues on this here Johnson 1994 I show you I show you So that's what I got to do. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. New rotors, new rotors, new rubber. Well, new to this truck. Put some new rubber, new brake shoes, new rotor. And this is only one side of my old Ranger. I got the other side to do. Waiting for my compressor to top off. But. Think there wasn't much left of them, huh? I don't think they're gonna give me a core. <laughs> Look how thin that is. I rode them for every penny they're worth. What? <laughs> Kind of scared me. I, was, I didn't see the leash at first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did I mention it's only thirty two degrees? The wind was blowing pretty stiff, but it... See all the never sees? Always put the never sees. If you don't, they'll be ever seized. I done been down the ever seized avenue. I don't like it. So, we've got to rotor this thing up here, understand? I still got to do the other side. I still got to do it. It's supposed to be a nice one. See how far? It's cold. Cold. But I don't mind it actually. When you're working, 35, 40 degrees is actually pretty good. Ah. Damn. Yeah. cross apple sumanoise. There's the one. Mm. Right. Right. 
Righty, oh righty. One down, two to go. We are going to try and get back on this 40 today. I'm going to try and drop that lower unit for about, I think, the fifth time. So, but it's when I'm dropping this lower unit off and on here, I've only got two bolts holding it. I said two. Um, and I don't generally hook up the shift rod and everything. So I'm going to pop this lower unit back off here and do a couple of test -tests, tests and I'll take you along with me if you'll come. Let's go. Ba, ba, ba. Right, hmm. Okay. Okay, the first thing I'm doing is I have a borescope, an endo borescope. It has LED lights on the end of the camera. I'm going to shove it up this thing's butt and uh, see if I can't get a look at the spline. I don't know whether my camera will pick it up. Heck, I don't even know if it will pick it up. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Try, try, try. It's got a light, so I can see. Eh, the end of it, not one of them. Starting to curl on me. I gotta get this end up in there. Uh, come on. Kid man, would ya? Yeah, that's pretty straight. Uh -huh. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, man. Oh, so close. Well, let me tell you what. Being difficult. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Might have to stick it on a stick or something. Just at the perfect wrong height. Not the right height, the wrong height. Come on. There, we're in. We are in there. Let me see what I'm seeing. Okay, I can actually see the splines pretty good. And from what I can see, they look okay. I don't see any scarring. I can see the bottom of the crank good. Get this other piece of Velcro. I can't say my camera's going to pick any of this up, but you never know. There's the splines. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it at all as I move the camera back and forth, but uh, you should be able to see the splines right there on one side, and they don't look all ate up. If you look to this 
to the side of the camera that the wires plug it into up top there. You can see the splines right there. So I don't know if that camera's going to pick it up. I, you know, I can barely see it, but I can see the splines pretty good. Here's a better shot. Don't know if it'll pick up. On the old endo. But I can see them pretty good. And they look pretty good to me. I don't see any any destruction on them. They got nice deep grooves. So And, but I can see where it looks like that drive shaft and those splines might have been hitting the very bottom of the splines on the bottom of the crank. I don't know if you can see it again, but I'm going to show it anyway. But you can see silver, uh, real bright spots right at the bottom of the splines in this scope on the crank. So, like I said, you probably can't see it, but I can see it. But the splines are good. They're, they're nice and deep. All right, so and like I said, the camera has like eight LED lights on the bottom. I mean, at the very tip of the camera. So even though you probably couldn't see it that good, I could. And those splines look pretty good. But I'm gonna do one more test on this. Let me get set up for that, and I'll be right back, and I'll show you. Okay, so what I've done, okay, we looked at it with the uh, bore scope, and I couldn't find much going on there. All right, so what I did was I took the splines, and I got this nice red geese here. Okay, it's red. I painted just the splines with it. Okay, then I took Carpenter's blue chalk line powder. After I painted it with the grease, I put this all around the threads, not on the top, and just to where the threads end. I got that blue stuff on it, this chalk powder on there. Okay, now. Where this water pump goes, I took that same red grease and in the cavity of the upper part of the outboard, I painted that red grease all in that hole. As you can see, this is clean, no grease on it on this rubber boot for the water pump. So now I'm going to stab this lower unit and put one or two bolts back in to hold it and spin it over with my vice grips. Then I'm going to redrop it and see what we got at the end of this. That's what I'm going to do. Test is number two. So let me get me two bolts. My latch and my divot. Right there. Okay, there's some of that grease. All right, now let's get this lower. Make sure you're in the door. Okay. So we're going to stick this back up in there. I have it in reverse gear. I shoved the drive shaft and checked it to make sure she's in reverse gear. Okay. Let's go, Mr. Mr. Lower. There it is.
Okay, I'm going to put one on this side in the back. What we're going to do now, I know it's in reverse gear. We're going to spin this drive shaft over by the prop shaft. There's your noise. Put this out here at an angle. Obviously, it's not engaging, but it is touching the spine. So, that should be enough to see where we're at. Let's drive. <laughs> All right, there it is. Okay. Let's see if we can tell. Okay. That tells me what I need to know. All right. All right. Keep you right up in there. Okay, now you can see there is dark grease over everything that was blue. Black grease, and this was red grease with blue on it. And you can see those splines are going all the way up in there. They may even be going, at least the little seal thing, down to here. but. They're going up in there. So what we got here? What we got here, young men, is a failure to communicate. What we got here is the diameter of this drive shaft is too small. It's the wrong one. So even though the shift rod goes in there and bolts up just fine. The diameter of that drive shaft, maybe even the spline count, is incorrect for this power head. So, time for me to do a little research them. Maybe pull off that 50 out there and see if it's a little bigger. I'll be back. It's name that tune. I found an island in your arms, country in your eyes, arms that chained us, eyes that lied. I found an island in your arms, country in your eyes, arms that chained us, eyes that lied. Name that tune.
Another one. Kinda sorta like the other one. We had two wind storms come in here. Of course, they had rain and snow mixed in with them. Um, we ended up with about eight inches of snow or so, but it just makes things hard. It makes it hard on me. So, uh, got the snow plowed out a little bit, but of course, when we get the wind, those big wind storms like that, it blows these old spruce trees down, and the firewood boys go out to get the firewood. You understand us? And when that happens, their chainsaw that's been sitting for a month or two don't start, or they put bad gas, or they spin a clutch, or whatever, and they bring them to me, so I gotta stop what I'm doing on the old outboards and pay the rent. Gots to pay the rent up in here. That is for shizzle whizzle. So, I had to do some chainsaws, stop what I was doing on outboard, take care of a few of them, and log splitters and the like and uh but i finally uh had enough weather here where i could get out and move the snow banks around and get at this one here this is a ce or a 89 model but you can see the lower unit is not original to it um you can see it's not original. Ooh, look at that prop. Goodness gracious, look at that. Yeah. Looks like my crooked teeth bit a bite out of that. <laughs> so, I'm going to get this lower unit off here and pop it, and we're going to compare it to the one that I tried to put on here. And that'll let me know if the 89 and the 94 are different. Full shizzle. So, I've already, as you saw, I took out the shift link bolt, um, and so all I got to do is pop off these, pull it out here, and that sounds easy, don't it? Right. So I'll have to get this lower unit off here, then we can compare the two, um, and that should confirm to me whether that one's off of, of an 89 or so forth. I don't even remember how I came up with that, but somehow I kind of sort of determined that that lower unit was off an 89. Been so far back, I don't remember how I did that. But anyway, so we'll get this one off here and uh, give the two a comparison and we'll go from there. I might end up having to take this one back out and uh, go ahead and just make this one a runner. Um, I don't know if this lower unit's any good. I just want to see the splines and the shafts. So I'm going to get busy taking these off and uh, then we'll do the comparison. But that's going to be another video because it's getting late. And when that sun goes down, this garage door goes down with it because it is cold. So um, had a lot of things all pile up on me at once. The wind, the snow. Uh, my old ranger decided it needed some disc brakes and rotor. Yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. So, we'll get this one off here and do a comparison. That'll be in the next video. And as always, that's one more hack from Old Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.